Hey friends, just a quick update. Instead of saying adios, I'm going to start saying Asiago. I know it's a little bit cheesy, but there's nothing you can fondue about it. Hey, good morning, friends. Welcome to Cheese Friday. As you may have guessed, today's cheese is going to be Asiago. Uh, a little bit different. What I actually did was find at a store this awesome little package of Bel Gioioso for an Italian cheese board. So it has provolone, which we've talked about, fontina, which we've talked about, and parmesan that we've talked about, not Reggiano, uh, and Asiago. And I was like, hey, we should definitely talk about that because Asiago is super cool. Uh, one thing to know about it is that it is part of that, uh, which we've talked about with the Parmesan, the uh, protected designation of origin, often called DOP. It is a semi-hard cheese and uh, it's from Italy, although we do manufacture some of it here in the United States now, which makes it not authentic Asiago, but it's still there. So there may be some differences that you would get. Uh, the other thing is depending on the Asiago you buy, it can have a variety of textures to it. Uh, so if you're looking for something uh, smooth or something with a crumbly and a little bit of that crystallization, talk to the cheesemonger where you're shopping. Um, they can tell you about all the different varieties of Asiago. There's a, a Prosado, so that's a pressed Asiago, and uh, that's generally made with the milk from the lower lying uh, parts of the region, which you know means it would be imported if you bought it here in the United States. Um, the one uh, sometimes you'll see Asiago, and it'll have great big old holes in it, so uh, that might also be the Prosado. Um, I can't remember. Yes, uh, the Alevito. Oh no, there's no T in there. Alevio has uh, it's it's a harder, firmer sort of uh, Asiago, and also its coloration is more of the yellowy uh, beige color. And then if you get a Mizano Asiago, um, that will have the slightly sweeter taste in the mouth. So, and, uh, but if you're looking for the stronger tartar one, that would be the Asiago Vecchio. I'm like 98% certain that I said that correctly. Um, but, uh, and the Vecchio gets sharper and also that's the one that has like that crystallization because it's aged longer. We've talked a lot about how aging longer, uh, really impacts texture and taste of the cheeses. So the Asiago also, if you're trying to pair it up with stuff, and if you drink wine, you know, cheese goes great with wine. And I know, uh, you know, if you're like hardcore keto, uh, alcohol is poison, but if you are a little bit on the more loosey side once in a while or your special events, it's a Zin sort of cheese, Zinfandel. Uh, also pairs well with your fatty, hearty sort of dishes. So there you go, Asiago. And so this one, it's a, it's crumbling as I touch it, but also so you can see in the camera, it has little holes. So it's a little pockety, that's good. Sorry about that. We had to have a little conversation on the side. Maybe I'll try and edit it out. Uh, I'm not good at that, but I will try. And hopefully we will smooth that out. Anyways, the Asiago is slightly pockety. It's already sliced because it was this cheese board version. And you can see it's coming apart. Delightful. So let's give it a taste. Mm. I'm saying mm because of the smell. It's a little teeny bit pungency. But it immediately awakened the palate. It's nice. It's like the nice little sweet cousin of the Parmesan. Mm. Oh, and at the end, you get that tang. 
100% can recommend. Anyway, so now I have like this awesome cheese board. I'm going to pair it with some olives and some lami and stuff at some point. I will tell you that the package said it was a press and reseal, but I literally could not get it open, so I had to cut it. And then also I'll just vacuum seal it in small little servings. So, happy Cheese Friday. Uh, hello from Dyson, obviously, and uh, I apologize for his disruption, but what are you going to do? They're animals. And he was so mad because a cat looked into the office. So, happy Cheese Friday. It's always chaos. I really miss you guys. So I hope to talk to you soon. And go ahead, leave some crazy comments on this on this video. And if you're new, it's always wackadoodle like this. So I just go ahead and hit that subscribe and the little bell icon for notifications anyways, because we always have a good time. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.